The mission of Operation Christmas Child is to demonstrate God's love in a tangible way to children in need around the world. Through this project, Samaritan's Purse partners with the local church worldwide to share the good news of Jesus Christ and make disciples of the nations. Take a minute to read page 8. Do any of the themes in your picture align with the five components of Operation Christmas Child's mission? Demonstrate God's love in a tangible way to children in need? Together with the local church? Share the good news of Jesus Christ and disciple children, multiply the gospel and discipleship. This is the heart of Operation Christmas Child. Evangelism, discipleship and multiplication. We come alongside to support you in achieving this common vision. This training is about exploring all the ways we do this together. Oh, hey friends. I'm just working on my picture activity. What do you think? It's like looking into a mirror, isn't it? Children are important to Jesus, and they are at an impactful age to meet Him. Most people, just like me, decide to follow Jesus before age 15. I was 13 when I accepted Christ. The harvest is plentiful. Millions of children around the world need the hope of the gospel. These same children are vulnerable. We require every ministry partner to agree to our expectations to help ensure the safety of children in their care. Samaritan's Purse Operation Christmas Child exists to demonstrate God's love in a tangible way together with the local church to share the good news of Jesus Christ, disciple children, and multiply the gospel and discipleship. As national teams, you support ministry partners in achieving this common vision. Let's explore what this would look like for each ministry partner team. Next, we'll be headed to a church partner in Thailand. Our mission, evangelism, discipleship, multiplication, it's woven into everything that we do with Operation Christmas Child, including our OCC principles. Right now, if you could turn with me to page number nine in your ministry guide and read along with me as I read in Romans 15, verses 20 through 21. It says, I have always wanted to preach the good news where Christ was not known. I don't want to build on what someone else has started. It is written, those who are not told about him will understand, and those who have not heard will know what it all means. OCC's project principles guide us as we partner together in ministry. And our first principle is that every box is a gospel opportunity. We want to focus on children who are outside of the church and who have not yet heard the gospel. OCC, these gift boxes provide an opportunity for you, the local church, to build relationships with children and their families inside of your communities. Our second principle is to give one child, one gift, once in a lifetime. We want to use each and every box as an opportunity to tell a brand new child about Jesus. And every box is meant for one specific child. So don't divide or split the boxes between multiple children. And then our third principle is to offer discipleship with every box. There should always be a plan for how you are going to follow up with the children after the event. We want to offer the greatest journey course to all the children who receive a gift box. Now, how do we see these OCC project principles supported by this passage in Romans? And how will we ensure that our ministry follows these principles? I want you to break up now in your ministry partner teams and discuss these questions. 